everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make my version of Bifanas a Moda do Porto. Now, this past summer, I've been, we were in Portugal, my husband and I, and one of the places that we went to was Porto. Loved it, we got to try different foods there, uh, but one that stayed with me was, uh, we got went to this little business uh, in Porto, known for Bifanas, called Astro. And this uh, owner, who's been an owner there and had this business for over 45 years, her name is Irmlinda Hosha. Um, and she sat down with me. I was able to see how she, you know, put her Bifanas together and serve them. She, you know, we sat down, had a little chit chat. So that stayed with me and I was, it was really a big pleasure meeting her. And of course, I'm going to show you some of those clips later on in the video. So stay with me today and watch how to make my version of Bifanas a Moda do Porto step by step. Here's a list of the ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. Three medium onions chopped, four garlic cloves also chopped, half a teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of sweet paprika, one beer, and my beer here is 473 milliliters, two tablespoons of hot pepper sauce, also known as pimenta muida, or some may call it pimenta malagueta. I also have one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one and a half cups of tomato sauce, olive oil, and of course you're going to need some bifanish. I have 30 pieces of bifanish here. They're very thinly sliced, almost paper thin. Let me show you. Look at that. Almost see-through. I had my butcher cut the uh, bifanish. And of course, I'll list these ingredients in the description box down below. All right, I've moved on to the stove here and we're gonna have the bifanish made right here in this pot. And I'm gonna start off with the first step and the first ingredient. Um, it's a very large pot, uh, and I'm gonna start off by placing some extra virgin olive oil, enough just to cover the bottom of the uh, saucepan here. There we go. And to the olive oil, I'm going to add the onions. And place all of the onions in the saucepan here. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the onions in the saucepan. I want them to soften, and I won't add the garlic at this point because the garlic, it's little pieces of garlic and it burns easily. So I want the onions to soften first, and then once the onions soften, then I'll start adding all of the other ingredients. So I'm gonna wait about a couple minutes and um, I'll move on to the next step. Okay, I've had the onions going here for about a minute, just over a minute. And now at this point, I can see they've softened. Um, now at this point, I'm going to add the garlic. I'm just gonna use a spoon here because the garlic tends to stick to the little bowl here. Got all the garlic in there. I'm gonna mix that in as well. It's fairly easy to make uh, these bifanish. Uh, from start to finish, within an hour, you will have these bifanish and you can have the served um, as a snack, lunch, dinner. Uh, you can't just have one, you have to have at least two. They're quite small uh, and very flavorful. All right, now at this point, I'm going to add the paprika, the cumin, and the black pepper. I'm gonna mix that in. Now for the ingredients, I didn't show uh, that I had salt uh, because obviously you're gonna add salt to this, but it you need to season, I like to season my bifanish individually, just a little salt. And then what I do is later on, just before the bifanish are just about done, I like to check for seasoning and at that point add more uh, salt uh, that I may need to the uh, recipe. Smells so good already. 
Okay, now at this point, I'm going to add the tomato paste. All right. And I'm also going to add the tomato sauce. Mix it in. You're gonna let that just cook for about three or four minutes. And then we'll add the balance of the ingredients. Okay, everyone, so I've had this uh, simmering literally for about three to four minutes, uh, just to let the sauce, uh, tomato sauce cook in there a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I actually have also uh, some pepper sauce. You don't have to include this, but if you like that spicy bifana, which we love here at home, and we also had it in Porto, which had a little spice to it, it was delicious. So you can add the pepper sauce, and if you don't wanna add pepper sauce, you can add Tabasco sauce. So I'm gonna add this at this point. I might check uh, if I wanted a little bit more spicier. Um, but at this point, I'm just gonna add the couple tablespoons of pepper sauce. And next, I'm going to add the beer. So I'm going to add one whole beer. If I may need more, I'm going to add it in. I'm just gonna see, because I have quite a bit of bifanish. I'm, I'm using about 30 pieces of bifanish. And I'm definitely gonna add about another half of uh, a can of beer, which is 473 milliliters. I'm gonna add about half of that. So about half. All right. Now, once you add the beer, you wanna make sure you mix everything together. And this is going to cook or simmer for another four minutes or so. Um, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, everyone, so you can see that it's come to a simmer. And what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to add some salt for seasoning, about a table or a teaspoon rather. Now I've seasoned all of the bifanish individually, so I'm not gonna add too much salt at this point. Of course, as you're making it, try it, um, try the sauce and see if it needs a little bit more salt. So it's gonna be to your liking. Now at this point, once the sauce comes to a simmer, I'm gonna turn off the heat. And you can do this two ways. You can either place all of the sauce in a uh, blender and puree it and then place it back in the pot, but I don't feel like dirtying another, uh, the blender and having to wash it. So I'm gonna do everything here. I'm gonna use my handheld blender and I'm going to puree it into a thick sauce and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, once you have all of the sauce pureed, and that's all the chunks of onion and garlic that's in here. Now I'm ready to add the bifanish. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the heat. And I wanna show you the bifanish. So what I got was uh, very thin slices of pork uh, bifanish. Um, now the bifanish are of the leg of the pork. Um, and if you just go to your butcher and you ask them to cut uh, some bifanish thinly sliced, like paper thin if they can. Uh, if not, you can uh, do it at home, try to cut it as, as thin as you can. Um, I also have a ham slicer that I uh, you know, can use to cut the bifanish, but if they do it for me, why not? So this is what it looks like very thin. If they're very big, you can cut them in half and then eventually uh, we're all gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna place all of the bifanish into the sauce and let it cook and simmer uh, on a very low to medium heat. Okay, so now, oh, by the way, I've seasoned all of the bifanish with salt. So not too much, just a little. So then what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add all of the bifanish into the saucepan and it's gonna simmer for about 30 to 35 minutes on a very low to medium heat. 
and I'm gonna place them all in. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but they're very thin. And like I said, they're already seasoned. So I'm gonna continue placing all of the bifanish in the saucepan, and then I'll show you the next step. all of the bifanish into the saucepan. At this point, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna place it on a low to medium heat. You want this cooking slowly for about, like I said, 30 to 35 minutes. They will shrink. These bifanish will shrink into these little tiny bifanish. And the final product is just delicious. The sauce, as it's cooking, I can smell it. It smells so good. And uh, I want to make sure that all of the sauce is covering the bifanish so I can absorb all of the flavors. And then once it finishes, almost finished cooking, I'm going to check for seasoning. And then at that point, if I feel it needs a little bit more salt, I'm going to add it in. So for now, I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 to 35 minutes on a low to medium heat and then I'll show you what they look like when they're ready to be served. Okay, everyone, the bifanish have been going here for about 35 minutes. Now at this point, you could see that the uh, bifanish, they're, they're pretty much done. It's just a matter of seasoning. Um, and what I'm gonna do at this point is a few things. I wanna check for seasoning because the bifanish itself, I've seasoned with salt. I just wanna check the sauce. And I'm gonna make sure it's good for seasoning. If it's not, and I feel it needs a little bit more, I'm gonna add it at this point. Let me try. Okay, you know what? It's perfect. I'm also gonna add, because I feel it needs a little more of that sting heat, I'm going to add the teaspoon of uh, some Tabasco sauce. Little hot sauce, never hurt anybody. And growing up Portuguese and pimentum weather, or that Tabasco sauce was always out. We like our, our things a little, our food rather, a little more, um, with a little bit of heat. Not all of it, but in this case, these bifanish need a little heat. So I just added it in. And again, that's optional. Um, so, and the other thing is I used sweet paprika. If you want, you can also you can use the hot paprika. There's a hot paprika powder that you can add instead of the sweet. So again, that's another option. Now I'm ready to move on to the next step and placing the bifanish in a fresh bun that I made. I made some Kaiser rolls and then just bite into it and that's it. Okay, now I have my fresh Kaiser here that I made. I made quite a few Kaisers and some Pop Six. Uh, this is what we're gonna have for lunch today. And I'm just gonna Cut it open here. I'm gonna place some of the meat. Look at this. Look how good this looks. Wow. I'm just gonna get some of the meat and place it on the Kaiser. And like I said, it does shrink the pork meat. Mmm, look at that. And I have a uh, bun here with some of the bifana. And as it's done in Porto, you gotta dip the whole bun in the sauce, just like that. And there you have it, a delicious bifana a moda do Porto. I hope you enjoy this recipe and give this recipe a try. everyone that's my version of how to make bifanish a modo de porto i'm gonna bite into this bifana because I, I, i've been my mouth has been watering and waiting and i gotta bite into it mm. wow this meat is so tender it's always messy but into a bifana but these are absolutely delicious. The seasoning is perfect. The heat is just right. The fresh bread, 
I made some fresh bread, some fresh Kaiser rolls, so we can have for lunch today. Um, I absolutely love being in Porto. Uh, I love spending the time with Senora Irmlinda Hasha from Astro uh, Restaurant or Cafe in Porto. I want to thank her for taking the time to speak to me. And um, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all like my recipe or my version of the recipe of making my bifanes a modo de Porto. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care. Look, they look so juicy and molly, look so nice, look at that. Bem bom. Look at that pipana. Look how juicy that is and delicious. Obrigada, Sarinha Melinda. Nada, as ordens. Leva para o caldo. Quase me para o caldo. This is our Bafanage pilgrimage through Portugal. <laughs> it, uh, it's Sunday it nights here good. and it looks great. It's a busy place. Uh, so it must be good. A lot of locals. Um, it smells great. I'm dying to dive into this one. Go ahead, Dominic. Tell but, me what it's uh, like. All right, here we go. How is it? I see that sauce. Very good. And what's it going to go can down with? It can only go down with a nice cold beer. It's got a little, little hit of heat to it, but not crazy. Perfect. Great sandwich. Awesome. Good. Now I'm going to bite into mine. Bread is great too. Nice and crispy. So this is Senhora Irmelinda Rocha um, in Porto, Portugal. Uh, she has a um, restaurant called Astro in Porto, Portugal. And we had her amazing, delicious bifanage, the bread, the sauce, the spice, everything was amazing. Um, so I just, I'm going to speak Portuguese and explain it, saying thank you to Senhora Irmelinda. Eu agradeço muito e que nos venham visitar, que é para conhecer a especialidade da casa, que é a rainha da casa, há 45 anos, sempre com a mesma gerência. 
Obrigada. Tá, muito obrigado nós. Obrigada. Obrigada. Ok. Thank you.